What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. I hope that all of you are having a beautiful Sunday afternoon. I want to say happy birthday to the one and only Angelina Jolie. She turns 48 today. Angelina Jolie is an American actress, a filmmaker, and a humanitarian. She is the recipient of numerous accolades, including an Academy Award and three Golden Globes. She is one of Hollywood's highest paid actresses. And she was born in Los Angeles, California. Um, her children are Shiloh, Jolie Pitt, Maddox, Jolie Pitt, Zahara, Jolie Pitt, and Pax. So, she, you know, she went overseas and she adopted children from all over the world as well as had her own with her former husband, Brad Pitt. Um, speaking of <laughs> former husbands, she's been married three times. So her first marriage was to Johnny Lee Miller from 96 to 1999. Then she got married to Billy Bob Thornton uh, in 2000 to 2003. And I don't know if you guys, um, like how old you were <laughs> with the Billy Bob Thornton marriage, but uh, Angelina and Billy Bob were wild on these MTV red carpets and they were wild in the streets, okay? Like she, she used to... <laughs> wear this vial of blood around her neck. Like I was a little kid at the time, but looking back on it, and I, I thought that Angelina Jolie was so much older than 48. And maybe that's why, because she was really wild in like her early twenties and Billy Bob Thornton was so much older than her. I mean, probably like 30 years, her senior, like I think he was in his fifties back then. And they would just, I mean, the PDA was out of control. So, <laughs> but Angelina has always been that girl. Like she's always been, you know, the very um, seductress, you know, um, just, she has her, her, her own agency and autonomy. And speaking of seductress, <laughs> uh, after she left Billy Bob Thornton, she actually waited a while. She didn't get married to Brad Pitt until 2014. But um, that was a huge deal as well because he was married to Jennifer Aniston before going on set with Angelina to play in the role of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So they were assassins trying to kill each other. And after that movie was made, him and Jennifer were no longer together. And so then he got married to Miss Angelina Jolie. So that was huge. That was huge. Yeah. Back in the day in Hollywood. So she was married for, uh, to Brad Pitt from 2014 to 2019. And from what I know now, she's single, you know what I mean? Living her life. She's going to Spelman, um, you know, dropping her, her daughter off um, at Spelman. But that was really cute. She was, you know, participating in like the electric slide and, you know, just the orientation, the welcome parents and, and students. So we saw those clips on social media, which was really cute. But yeah, Angelina Jolie, I mean, she's been the Hollywood it girl for as long as I can remember. And her father, um, you know, uh, John Voigt, and her mom's name is uh, Marceline Bertrand. They were both in Hollywood as well. I know her dad is still an actor and he plays on Ray Donovan. So he plays you know, the father and Ray Donovan, but her and her father don't see eye to eye. Her dad is very um, right wing in his beliefs, whereas Angelina is more, you know, liberal. And uh, unfortunately, you know, a lot of the things that um, John Voigt says online, the clips that he makes, you know, clash with his daughter's beliefs. Um, and right, I mean, and rightfully so, because she is a humanitarian, like she is someone who obviously believes in diversity. You can look at her children to see that Brad Pitt, you know, he has backed a lot of movies made from people of color um, from his own pocket. And, you know, um, it's unfortunate that her and Brad had such a contentious divorce. A lot uh, came out against Brad Pitt in regards to how he mistreated her and the children. So I'm really sorry to hear about that. And I hope that Brad, you know, gets the help that he needs. 
But as far as Angelina, I mean, her career is amazing. She was in Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. She played the lead in Original Sin. Um, she was amazing in Girl Interrupted, which is about, you know, her and Wynota Ryder's characters um, being sent to a mental institution when they were like teenagers. This was way back in the 50s, I believe. And that movie, I think that movie really put her on the map because she she always conveys, you know, whatever character that she's doing, like she she does it so well. But that character in particular, she was playing a sociopath, a teenage sociopath at that. And the raw emotion of that film, I think really got Hollywood's attention and, and audiences. She definitely, she bodied that role. Uh, she played Gia, the model who overdosed. Malfeasance, that movie was amazing as well. Um, she played Salt, and she played that down. I love watching Angelina in, like, you know, the action thriller movies. She always does a really good job in those as well. Wanted, she was the only female character in that. She didn't have a lot of speaking lines. I noticed, I noticed that she, you know... She does a lot of nonverbal communication in her films, but in Wanted, which came out in 2008, it was about this, you know, secret society. And she was just this like muse. Um, yeah, she was like, she was the only female of the crew, but she, she had maybe like 10 or less speaking lines. I remember that was one thing I noticed in that film. Um, she played opposite of Johnny Depp in The Taurus. She played um, in Gone in, Gone in 60 Seconds. That was real cool, too. I think she was the only girl in that one as well. But that was opposite of Nicolas Cage. She played his love interest. And, you know, um, that was, one of, that was one, of my, one of my favorite films from Angelina Jolie as well. Uh, the Bone Collector, opposite of Denzel Washington. I think that she said that um, she wanted you know, for them to have like a kissing or intimate scene. But back then, this came out in 1999. He said he didn't feel comfortable. Like he didn't want that smoke or that backlash from Hollywood, which I don't blame him. But yeah, I mean, she, you know, Angelina has played in so many roles. Like she has been in the business for such a long time. She's done a lot of work um, in animation as well. Kung Fu Panda, and she's, you know, um, Shark Tale. So she has been that girl for a really, really, really long time. And congratulations to her. I hope she having, you know, she's having a wonderful birthday. Um, the career that she's had and the longevity that she's had is something that is rare in Hollywood, especially being, you know, like a nepotism baby. I feel like she has stepped out from under her father's shadow and became a really great actress in her own right. And not just an actress, but also a, th a philanthropist and a humanitarian, something that her dad does not do, at least not to my knowledge. I haven't seen anything about John helping anyone outside of the right wing conservative, you know, lane that he's in. So yeah. I really, I like I said, I love Angelina Jolie's um, movies, but most of all, I really enjoy her character. And I, I, I enjoy watching her, you know, be there for her kids. And like I said, the clips from Spellman, which is, it was super cute. So drop down in the comments. Let me know your favorite Angelina Jolie film or moment. And um, again, happy birthday, Angelina, wherever you are. And I will talk to you later. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more pop culture news, and I will talk with you later. Take care, aces. Bye.